What's up, everyone? I am Chris. And I'm Brandon. We are back with another episode of GPV. It's pretty crazy that we are heading into the end of the school year. AP tests are wrapping up and the senior trip is next week. You know, it's been a while. We've been pretty busy making some videos of our own, haven't we? We did and even won a few awards. We had three video finals. One in the PSA category, which also won an honorable mention, and two in the documentary category, with one of them winning the defining 2022 award. What were the documentaries about? They were both about my Halloween costume I got last year and the company who made it, Magic Wheelchair. What about the PSA? It was about keeping cockroaches out of your home. Want to watch it? Sure, let's take a look. Living with Roaches During the warm and dry parts of the year, many pests, including cockroaches, search their environment seeking food, water, and shelter. The best ways to make sure you don't have any cockroaches in your home are to eliminate potential food, water, and shelter sources and seal cracks and crevices around your home. To learn more, visit sacksewer.com. You know, Chris, GTV isn't the only class that's been making videos lately. You're right, a boring computer science class has been working hard creating their own videos. You know, you should watch some of them. Once upon a time, there lived in a village a country girl, who was the sweetest little creature that ever was seen. Her mother naturally loved her with excessive fondness, and her grandmother doted on her still more. The good woman had made her a pretty little red-coloured hood, with so much became the little girl, that everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day her mother, having made some cheesecakes, said to her, Go, my child, and see how your grandmother does, for I hear she is ill. Carry her some of these cakes and a little pot of butter. Little Red Riding Hood straight set out with a basket filled with the cakes and the pot of butter for her grandmother's house, which was in a village a little way off the town that her mother lived in. As she was crossing a wood which lay in her road, she met a large wolf which had a great mind to eat her up but dared not, for fear of some woodcutters who were at work near them in the forest. Yet he spoke to her and asked her whether she was going. The little girl, who did not know the danger of talking to a wolf, replied, I am going to see my grandmama and carry these cakes and a pot of butter. Does she live far off? said the wolf. Oh, yes, answered Little Red Riding Hood. Beyond the mill, you see yonder, at the first house in the village. Well, said the wolf, I will take this way, and you take that, and see which will be there the soonest. <laughs> the wolf set out full speed, running as fast as he could, and taking the nearest way, while the little girl took the longest. And as she went along, began to gather nuts, run after butterflies and small pleasant flowers, as she found them within her reach. The wolf got to the dwelling of the grandmother first, and knocked at the door. Uh, who is there? said some voice in the house. It is your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf speaking like the little girl as well as he could. I have brought you some cheesecakes and a little pot of butter that Mama has sent you. The good old woman, who was ill in bed, called out. Uh, pull the bobbin and, and the latch will go up. The wolf pulled the bobbin and the door went open. The wolf then jumped upon the poor old grandmother and ate her up in a moment, 
for it was three days since he had tasted any food. The wolf then shut the door and laid himself down in the bed and waited for Little Red Riding Hood, who very soon after reached the house. Tap, tap. Who is there? cried he. She was at first a little afraid at hearing the gruff voice of the wolf, but she thought that perhaps her grandmother had got a cold, so she answered, It is your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood. Mama has sent you some cheesecake and a little pot of butter. The wolf cried out in a softer voice, Pull the bobbin, and the latch will go up. Little Red Riding Hood pulled the bobbin, and the door went open. When she came into the room, the wolf hid himself under the bedclothes and said to her, trying all he could to speak in a feeble voice, <coughs> Put the basket on the stool, my dear, and take off your clothes, <coughs> and come into bed. Little Red Riding Hood, who always used to do as she was told, straight undressed herself and stepped into bed. But she thought it strange to see how her grandmother looked in her night clothes. So she said to her, Dear me, Grandmama, what great arms you have got. They are so much better to hug you with, my child, replied the wolf. But Grandmama, said the little girl, what great ears you have got. They are so much better to hear you, my child replied the wolf. And Grandmama, what great teeth you have got, said the little girl, who now began to be rather afraid. <sighs> they are to eat you up, said the wolf, and saying his words, the wicked creature fell upon Little Red Riding Hood and ate her up in a moment. Wow, that was a really good video, Chris. I like the part where the wolf was disguised as a grandma. I hear they're working on a few more videos. Maybe we can watch those in the next episode. We should. That's it for today, Warriors. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.